Hi everyone, welcome back. Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see the example 3 for couple and moment calculation. Check the link in the description for basics of couple and moment calculation and other examples. Example 3 For the parallel forces shown, determine the direction, magnitude and location of the resultant. For this system of force, we need to calculate we need to determine the direction, magnitude and location of the resultant. We have the rules. Let us consider resultant is acting in this direction at a distance of x from point A. Resultant R is equal to minus 60 plus 25 minus 15 minus 40 plus 30 which gives minus 60 Newton. This negative sign indicates the direction of the resultant. So our assumption of the resultant is correct. Now let's calculate the moment of the system about the point A. If we take moment for this 60 Newton, this is zero as it has no perpendicular distance, it won't rotate the system and this 25 Newton, this will rotate the system in clockwise direction. So we have to take in negative and this is at a distance of 2 meter from point A, so minus 25 into 2. This 50 Newton, this will rotate the system in counterclockwise direction. So we have to consider this as positive and this 50 Newton is at a distance of 4 meter from point A. In this 40 Newton, this will also rotate the system in counterclockwise direction. So we have to consider this in positive and this 40 is at a distance of 7 meter from point A and this E this will rotate the system in clockwise direction so we have to consider this a negative and this 30 Newton is at a distance of 8 meter from point A. This gives the value for moment which is 50 Newton meter. Now when we apply the Barrigan's theorem, Barrigan's theorem states the algebraic sum of all the moments is equal to the moment of the resultant of the system. So if we calculate the moment of the resultant that is r into x about point A which equals to sigma ma. So sigma ma is equal to r into x. Sigma ma value is 50 and resultant is 60. From this we can calculate the value of x which is 0.833 meter. So, this resultant of 60 Newton is acting at a distance of 0.833 meter from point A.